Good morning. Today is the 6th of July 2014 and I'm looking at an orchid I got at Paramount Orchids in Nanaimo, BC. And this is called Jumelia comorensis. So there it is, Jumelia comorensis. And uh, the what is special about this orchid, it is of a family called Angracum which is the same as the Darwin orchid family. So uh, this is not exactly Darwin orchid, but related to or very similar to. And the special thing about this is the flower. Here is the flower. And it has a very long spur. And I'll show you a picture at the end of the video of a flower with a fully open spur. Now, what is so great about this thing is that this was an orchid that was discovered in Madagascar and Darwin had a look at it, was sent to him in England and he looked at the long spur at the end of which is the nectar at the very end and he predicted that the pollination of this orchid would occur by a pollinator that had a very long tongue that could reach to the nectar. Of course this is open down like that. So uh, such they, uh, they looked for such a, an insect but couldn't find it, so they ridiculed his, his hypothesis. Uh, but a person called Alfred Russell Wallace continued to work on this, and he did, they did actually find a moth in 1903. And I will give you a wonderful YouTube link to see this moth in action, how it hovers around the flower in the front and then puts out this, unleashes its long proboscis or tongue and goes deep into the spur and extracts the nectar. So the whole fuss about this was that it supported the theory of natural selection in evolutionary theory. So only a moth that had a long tongue could get to the nectar and only the ones with a long spur uh, had pollinations. So uh, this is a co-evolution of both the moth and the orchid. So I'll show you the rest of the plant. The rest of the plant is uh, its not terribly pretty to look at, but uh, just to see what it's like. A bit of straggly leaves. Uh, they've got a cakey here, and it's grown in moss and in a lattice, lattice-shaped, uh, lattice uh, pot. So uh, I am looking forward uh, to have this flower open and apparently it also should have sequential flowering and I'll show you a, a orchid I took pictures of it that had sequential flowering so bright light warmth uh, producing the natural habitat of Madagascar in my apartment will be the challenge okay so that is that and I am now going to show you the Darwin orchid the original one Okay, so here is the original Darwin orchid. This is the one that all the fuss was all about. And here is the name of it. Uh, can you see that? It says Angracum sesquipedale. Okay, that's how it is pronounced. So uh, this is the original orchid that was that had the flower, the beautiful white flower, which is fragrant in the night and has a long spur and grows in Madagascar. So the plant is like this, it's an epiphyte and has sensitive roots, I'm told these are very lovely healthy roots uh, and you're not supposed to disturb them and of course I have to produce the conditions of Madagascar, warmth, light and humidity in uh, the growing condition. So uh, we'll wait and see if I even get a flower on this, I will be so thrilled if it happens. If I can get this plant to flower for me, that would be lovely. So this is the original Darwin orchid, and I got it for the wonderful idea and the history behind it. Uh, it's so fascinating. All right. Thanks for watching.